Hello, welcome. Hello, Leticia, welcome. Hey, Mariano, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey. Is it raining near your house, Mariano? It's raining? I'm in my house right now. It's, yes, teacher. Oh, yes, in my house it's raining. The problem is that when, when it's raining, it's difficult for me to listen. Yes, on the internet, oh, yes. it's down. Hey, hey, what happened yesterday, Mariano? Everything is okay? Yes, teacher, I'm working. Ah, you were working, huh? Ah. Yes. No, I thought something bad happened, but no, no, it, no. everything is okay. <laughs> everything okay, I'm Excellent. working. Excellent. So, le, let me see, I'm receiving some messages. Uh, okay. Uh, it's raining, say, Ana Maria, yes. Maria says it's raining and Claudia Guadalupe says it's raining. So let me let, let me answer. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Try to connect later, right? To connect later. Okay, good. So Mariano, let's begin, right? Let me see, ah, Oscar is connecting too. I guess, uh, so we're going to start for some minutes and later I will take the attendance, right? Okay, teacher. Yes, okay, give me a second here, I have the attendance. Okay. <laughs> In the manual, right? Give me a second, give me a second, come in back. Ah, the, the bell, the bell. Okay, it's the bell, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, Domingo, hello. Hi, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. Eh? And welcome to Oscar, too, that he's driving. I understand. No problem, Oscar. Only listen, right? I understand. Don't worry. Good. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's raining, right? Be careful, Oscar. Very loud, very loud. In the street, sometimes you know it's it's flooding, right? It's still inundado some some this day, right? Aminda, hello, Aminda, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Everything is fine. Yes. Okay, it's a pleasure to see you, right? Sonia Iver is connecting right now, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Alvarenga. Good evening. Good evening. Is it raining near your house, Iver? Yes, okay, I understand. Good. I hope we don't have problems with the internet today, right? Remember that if I um, if I disconnect, wait for me, eh? Wait for me because sometimes the internet has some problem, right? Let me see. Uh, okay. So Ana Maria is listening, but she says she has some problems. Well, I hope she can connect later, right? Debbie, hello, Debbie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again, right? Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, let's just start. I will share the, the, the presentation tonight. And ah, the presentation, let me see. Oh, yes, here it is. Okay, uh, tonight we have uh, more grammar. Causative verb part two. 
Some people say that the parts number two are not good, but we are going to demonstrate that yes, tonight causatives are good, right? And tonight is the last class for unit three. Tonight we finish unit three, right? And tomorrow we begin unit four, right? Good. Uh, today is July the 20th, right? And uh, to begin the class, we're going to discuss, right, uh, some topics. Uh, the topic is still the family, right? We're going to continue talking about the family. So let's uh, start talking about this. Domingo, in your opinion, Domingo, do you think people should adopt children? Yes or no? Adoption? No. No. no I don't know. <laughs> no, you, you think no, right? No. Domingo, do you have babies? Uh, no. No, no. Ah, no babies. No. Okay, so I understand. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't dare, right? No se atrevería. You wouldn't dare to adopt one, one child. Uh, no, 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 okay. I know Good. you don't like the idea. That's it. It's, com it's, co it's complicated. I know, Compl of course. Yes, very complicated, uh. right? Yes, I know. Mm. And what about you, Aminda? Um, you're single, right? Aminda, no, I am married. Oh, good. So, and you have baby, right? Yes, two. Yes. Baby. Uh, yes, but it's possible to adopt a children. Yes, you I do. You see that as like a possibility, right? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, because <clears throat> remember there are many cases, right? Some some couples cannot have babies, and sometimes, uh, um, for example, I have a friend that her sister died in a uh, born in a car right the car made an explosion and uh the the two children she had were uh, abandoned right so uh, my friend adopt them right in united states not in el salvador but in the united states so some sometimes you can adopt some family member right some nephews and, and nieces sometimes right Oh, like I say, the possibility that you want to, to adopt in. Um, you know, there are some famous people, some actresses and actors that they adopt children, right? And for them, it's very common. Angelina Jolie, for example, is one example. They adopt yeah. children, yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, good. Uh, Leticia have a problem with the internet too, right? Ana Maria, Leticia, Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, I hope they can fix the problems and they can connect, right? And we'll send a message, give me a second, right? Uh, entendido, a todos les recibo el mensaje, espero que puedan conectarse más tarde. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Next question. Let me see. Um, Mariano, do you do you usually have any influence on family matters? Yes, to share the family is that there's education. <laughs> I mean, your your opinion is important in your family. Uh, sometimes remember, sometimes right? We we in families we take decision, right? Uh, if one member yes. is in the hospital or you decide to take a trip or you decide to buy a house or like a family, yes. uh, you decide to help one member of the family, right? Sometimes we have a family member who have problems with drugs or, or drinking. So, or, or simple, let's go to have dinner tonight, right? Like family, right? So your opinion yes, is important, there. Mariano? The opinion is important, teacher, but uh, the final decision. Nice. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Good, I understand. So uh, it means that 
for for you uh no for your family uh mariano you uh, your opinion is very mature very important right so when mariano say hey let's eat pupusas tonight eh? okay yes mariano let's do it mariano thank you let's go so <laughs> everybody obeys right <laughs> nice no, sure. no 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 i'm i'm kidding but some sometimes mariano is true that your 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 opinion is important in front of your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, opinion is, a person is important. <laughs> no, I know. I know you don't take the decisions in your family, right? But oh, yeah. but uh, sometimes some members of the family have influence. For example, in my in my case, uh, I have four sisters and, and me that I, I, I am men, of course, right? And then when I give my opinion, my sister respect my opinion and say, no, Javier knows. So let's take this decision or the other decision, right? Because for, yes. for my family, my I, I have influence, you know? You know what I mean? So yes, I guess yes. the same happened to you, Mariano. Nice. I understand. Yeah. You are in influencer in your family. <laughs> okay. Nice. Hey, what about you, Debbie? Do you usually have any influence on family matters? Um, no. No. Oh, good. Maybe advice. Okay. Maybe in your family, your father take the decision in family no. matters? No, no. No. No, no. Okay. No. For my family, my own family, my husband and I, no. Mm. Your husband takes the decision. No, me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but no, no. No, 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 no. I... But listen, David, the question is that if, if, if your opinion is important, I mean, uh, let's say- My opinion. You're going to take a trip to the beach or to the mountains. And David said, oh. I want to go to the mountain, okay. Listen to Debbie, right? She wants to go to the mountain. Um, the family goes to the mountain. Um, I don't know how to say. No soy la de las ideas, teacher. Ah, okay, good. I understand. So, so you don't give ideas. Yo, yo, yo voy para donde vayan. Así ah, okay, así. good. If they say pupusas, yes. pupusas. If they say pizza, pizza, right, Debbie? Yes. Nice, nice. I understand. I understand your word. Thank you. Now, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Is it raining around your house? It is raining, but oh. uh, I have a good internet right now. I it's, don't know. It's not me. pouring. It's not pouring. Pouring is no, no está yes. lloviendo fuerte, right? Pouring. No, it's, it's not, not pouring. pouring. Okay, good. Yeah. But I see your internet is, is good. It's good. Good. Okay. Uh, Wendy, what time do you have to, to be home? Um, I remember yesterday you said you, you live with your mother, right, Wendy? Yes, yes with my okay. mother and my father. What, what, yeah. Ah, your father, sorry. So yeah. what time do you have to be at home? Um, I don't have a time to be at home, but I usually stay here at 6.30 or 7.00. Oh, good. Maybe. But but yeah. your parents don't preach you, right? Preach you is regañar. They don't preach you. No. No, no. Okay. No, no. I, I just have to send a message when I come late and everything is okay after that. They trust you. They trust you, right, Wendy? Absolutely. Right? Yes, I understand. <laughs> yes. I understand. There yeah. it is. You know, these are the advantages to be mature, right? Uh, your yes. parents know that for example, Wendy, Wendy is not like like sorry, Wendy, to say that, right? Wendy is not relaja, I would say, right? And that she's not. No, no, I'm not sure. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, sure. they trust so, in me. Your parents, Wendy. Well, I I'm talking about uh, the parents of everybody, right? They know if you okay. can get in trouble, right? Yes. Okay. For example, uh, when I was young, my mother took care of me because she knew I was very, I was very vago, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but now when I grow, uh, grew up, right? She said, hey, please only, only send me, only call me. 
and that's it, right? Okay, yes. thank you, Wendy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, give me a second. I have a listener. I will take the attendance right now. Rosibel is going to be a listener. Let me see. Rosibel del Carmen Lopez. Okay, good. I will take the attendance and we continue with the discussion. Please, Trini. Present. Hello, Trini. Present. No, yet, right? Aminda? Present. Thank you. Present. Ah, Trini. Yes. No. Okay, Aminda, yes. yes. Trini, no, right? Yes. Trini, teacher. Trini, ah, okay, good. Thank you, Trini. Thank you very much. Eh, van a disculpar, pero con la lluvia, yo ya soy sordo, <ríe> y con la lluvia, me... así que disculpen, no es conmigo, porque a veces no, no les escucho bien, sorry, sorry. Ok, Ana María, no sé si ya se conectó Ana María o si ya tenía un problema con internet, Ana María, no, ok. No, y es que, es que estoy conectada, solo hay un poco de interferencia por la lluvia. Ah, pero, pero ahorita está bien. Sí, sí. Sí, va, ok, Ana María, thank you. Carlos William, Carlos, Claudia Guadalupe, oh, wait, I have a message here. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, Claudia Guadalupe. Ya se pudo conectar, Claudia Guadalupe. Está lloviendo. Yes. Ok, good. Eh, Domingo. Present. Thank you. Ever. Ever. José Roberto. Carla Vanessa. Leticia, Leticia tenía problemas también con internet, la vamos a dar aquí en pausa. Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Oscar, ahí va manejando, no conteste, Oscar, ya, ya lo vi en la cámara. Yes. Rosemary. Rosemary. Yes, Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosemary. Sonia Ivette. Good. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Walter Omar García. No, Castaneda, sorry. Walter Omar. Castaneda. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Thank you very much. Wendy. Wendy. Present. Okay. Good. Present. Eh, Chamba. Present, okay. Mister. Okay, good. Thank you, Mister Sorto. Thank you very much. Debbie. You work. Okay. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo. Okay. Um. Jose Alfredo is not present, so. I want to ask you something, right? Uh, we close the circle of the one-to-one -one, uh, interview, right? Ya cerramos el círculo de las entrevistas eh, uno a uno. Entonces tengo uh, cinco espacios, no, cinco espacios no, seis espacios <laughs> para lo que quieran repetir. Así es que al final de la clase, si alguien quiere quedarse conmigo discutiendo algún tema, pues... Uh, estamos a la orden, así es que a me avisan, ¿ok? Good. Eh, si se conecta Jorge, pues espero quedarme con él en la entrevista, pero si no, pues le voy a suplicar su ayuda a los que ya tuvieron la entrevista, pero quieren tener una segunda entrevista, ¿ok? Good, tengo seis espacios. Yes. Ok, good, let's, let's continue. Um, let me see. Um, 
Wait, wait a minute. Estoy comprobando la asistencia. Carla Vanessa. Good. It's a new look, Carla. Nice. New look. A new what? You have a new look, Carla Vanessa. Nice. No. No, I see. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the blouse, right? But you look good. You look good, Carla Vanessa. Nice. Okay, thank you. Now let's start. Let's start with the class. Good. And uh, Trini, please. Uh, um, how did you get your name? For example, uh, Adela Trinidad, right? Uh, how did you get your name, Trini? Um, my mom like Trinidad. Okay, good. And Adela for my grandmother. Oh, nice. Excellent. So, your name, Adela, after your grandmother. You know, after. You say the word after. And Trini, your name, Trinidad, after your mother, right? Interesting. Interesting. Thank you. What about you, Aminda? Aminda Rene. Rene, I like it. This name, Rene. It sounds like French. Yes. Yes. It, it's, a, it's a mix or combination, mm -hmm. uh, the name of my mother and my father, because nice. my mother's name is Aminda and my father, is, his name is René. I like the combination, Aminda, Aminda René. Mm -hmm. And Figueroa yes, is but... elegant, o sea. <laughs> Al mar no le digo mar, le digo, o sea, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Nice. Okay. No, but Figueroa, I imagine Gomez, teacher Gomez, I'm saying. I feel very common. Right? No. <laughs> okay, thank you, Amiga. Okay. okay, Ana Maria. Okay. Thank you. Ana Maria, what about you? How did you get your name? Uh, my name is because for my father. My father uh, mm -hmm. select the name of my brothers and I. In my and you, she said, yes. This beautiful girl is going to be named Ana Maria, right? <laughs> yes, yes, nice, nice, very good. I have a friend in the United States which name is Ana Maria, too, right? So it's, it's a nice person, <laughs> nice. And the combination, of course, Ana is common, Ana Maria is common too, but the combination, you know, is not very common, right? Nice. And then I have here Domingo, right? Oh, Domingo. Interesting name, right? You know, uh, Domingo, I was talking to my wife and she said, ah, I like the name Domingo, she said, right? Yes. Where, where did you get your name, Domingo? Uh, Domingo is, is, for, is for my grandfather. For your grandfather, right? For your grandfather. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Now to finish the last question, Carla Vanessa. How did you get your name, Carla Vanessa? Uh, well, I think that my father, when he was young, he had a their friend called oh. Vanessa. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. And he thinks that Carla Vanessa works good. Nice. Okay. And I don't want to know the opinion of your mother about that, Carla Vanessa. <laughs> mm, okay. She was young too, so okay. I think that she doesn't care about it. Okay, but in the present, your father received a lot of sinchazo, right? <laughs> okay, no. thank you, Carla Vanessa. They are divorced, so. Yes, yeah, when, when, when we are young, we, we make many things, but it's a good decision. Carla Vanessa sounds good, right? Nice. Yes. And uh, Mariano, please, the next question for you, Mariano. 
How many people are in your family, Mariana? In my family, in my house, I, my brother, my sister, my father, and my mother. So you're and four. And me, five. Five, five. Okay, so you have yes. one brother, one sister, your mother, your father, and you. Yes, and my dog, but. <laughs> uh, sorry, in your? And my dog. Ah, okay. My dog. I know. What's the name of the dog? Lucky. Lucky, Lucky. Lucky like Luke, Mariano, right? F, with, with F. Sortudo like Mariano. Nice, nice. Very good. Now, uh, Oscar is driving. Rosemary. Hello, Rosemary. Good night, teacher. Hello. Now, listen. How often is your entire family together? The grandmother, the cousin, the uncles, your brother, your sister. How often do you get together? Depends because my family actually is a little bit uh, tiny. Yes, the small. And I don't know, for the holidays and Christmas, Christmas all the birthdays. Celebration. Oh, nice. For example, uh, Rosemary, when, when is when is your birthday? September 7th. September 7th. So usually your family get together to celebrate your birthday. No, because no. my entire family has celebrated their birthdays in August. And for my birthday it's in it's, September. Yeah. Oh come on, those. They are mean, yeah. like, que malos son, oh, que malos. We do only <laughs> one celebration in, in Agos, and okay. for my birthday, it's too late. Come on, Rosemary, but you pretend your birthday is in August, right? And celebrate with everybody there, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, and, and in Christmas, Rosemary, where, where do you usually get together? In what house do you get in, together in Christmas? In my home, actually. Oh, really? So you you have a big house? Not big, but it's enough. my family is small and it's, it's enough. Okay, nice. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, this question is very, very special, right? Especially because uh, uh, the person I'm going to ask, she has baby, right? Sonia Ivet. Sonia Ivet. Is a spanking a good way to discipline children? Yes or no? Mm, let me read the question again. Spanking. What is what is spanking? Nalguiar. <laughs> Nalguiar. No. No, you think I no? I don't agree. I you don't, don't agree. agree. Okay, good. Okay, if, if you knew some of my students in, in, in the school, <laughs> so so. You say no teacher, it's okay. They they deserve the spanking, right? <laughs> okay, yes. Well, I guess, well, in my case, for example, uh, my father used to, to discipline me uh, with the belt, you know, con el cincho. So, like I say, a couple of hits, right? Par de cinchazo, right? Um, and I consider it's okay for me. I don't have psychological uh, problems for that. I mean, the opposite. I, I I thank my father for that because I was tremendous, you know. And also he he gave me uh, tender, you know. He uh, and, and that's it. But of course, not all people think the same. I mean, punish is not exactly the correct way to do the thing, right? Maybe speaking is is another way. Okay. And what about you, Vanessa Noemi? Do you agree with Sonia Ivet? that spanking is not a good way to discipline children? Mm, yeah, I am agreeing with her. So sometimes it's necessary. Ah, sometimes <laughs> it's necessary. Oh, so you disagree? Okay. Sometimes. sometimes. No, no, but listen, uh, sometimes, well, that's my personal opinion, of course. Uh, that is more psychological, the effect that, that you, you spank 
but spanking i mean when it's, it's soft right no 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 it's just like this right and 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 uh for example my daughter she 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 was crying no for the heat because she was crying because you know receiving uh a punish for me it's for 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 her is very strong you know so it's for me it's more psychological and of course uh, there are some some father right some mothers that they they hit the babies and that i disagree with that right it's not it's not correct hit but you know to cause harm you know para causar daño so i disagree with that now um walter omar the next question is for you right should this is very um i don't know controversy right uh, walter should people follow the religion of their parents yes or no in your opinion uh a long time ago i agree that the parents uh, teach the same religion to the sons and children but uh, right now uh, i think is different more more young people prefer uh, uh, i don't know select different religion okay nice so so today uh the family situation is more open, right? Especially with religion, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This, right. this in the past, the, well, you know, uh, because maybe in the past, what they remember, the Catholic religion was more like, more expanded, right? Or more, more strict in the past, I consider, right? I don't want to talk about religion because this topic is, is not a good topic to, to discuss, but uh, yes. in the past, uh, was there People used to follow. What to say? Hmm? What to say? Obligatorio. Mandatory. Compulsory. Mandatory. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was mandatory, okay. right? The the for example the Catholic uh, always uh, mandatory in that time ago, but but, but today no, right? Today no. It, no, they are more. The, the family is more open. Mm -hmm. it's there more open yes nice okay thank you walter now uh wendy uh what are some of your fondest your very deep memories of childhood um i have bad memory but um i don't know i remember uh, to play with my cousin uh-huh you used to play la tiendita wendy with your cousins no <laughs> no i don't know with some, some game corcholata game. right and some mojitas you know <laughs> no uh, no oh, okay i don't remember what what games we played but el hule saltar el hule no uh the rope? La, cuerda. la cuerda okay good yes the rope jump the okay. jump the rope jump the rope jump the rope Oh, good. Um, nice. I don't know how to say escondelero and hide, hide and seek. Esconderse hide y buscarse. Seek. Uh -huh. Hide and seek. S E E okay. S E E K. Seek. And hide is okay. Hide, right? Hide and seek. Okay, that games I remember that I played with with my cousins, and I don't have to um memories really i have a bad 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 um brain for for, for do that this okay yes of course we if there is a a a, a say right that uh we used to say éramos felices y no lo sabíamos right yes okay yes, so because it, because nowadays the children's they are with the cell phone all the time yes. pay attention to anything uh-huh I, I agree uh, welcome okay. rosibel welcome so very good thank you very much Wendy, for your opinion 
let me see. Um, uh, Chamba, hello Chamba. What about you? Hello, mister. What are some of your fondest or deepest memories as a, as a child? Well, I, I like to uh, remember when I, I play football uh, at the street with my, with my friends or when in Christmas work to the, with Silvadores. Ah, okay. Yes. This is my best memory. And when I traveled with my family to the beach every, every weekend. Mm -hmm. This is and where my... do you used to go, Chamba? Where did you used to go? To the Coastal Sol. Ah, okay. Or when in and in holidays, uh, all my family, uh, how do you say the love of my the mi mama, the love uh, from my mother's side, from my mother's from, side, from my mother's side, uh, travel to La Union mm -hmm. and all the the cousin and the uncles all the family with my grandma okay interesting yes yes very good we have a lot of memory right uh right. one of my best memory chamba is when when i was like four years and my mother used to to put a lipstick you know and she kissed me with my sister because we were very young right and she put my, uh, her her lips on my on my on my cheek right me dejaba marcado el pintalabio right and then i was happy all day because <laughs> because of that right <laughs> yes and i remember to play hide and seek escondelero eh, police thieves and police right uh ladron librado <laughs> Okay, or agarra la ayuda, I remember we used to say, right? So those was those were really good memories. Okay, Mister, thank you, Chamba. Thank you, Chamba. Mister, yes, tell me. Can, can, can you repeat hide and hide and seek? Hide and seek and seek, seek. like enfermo. No, no, seek. Seek no seek. Is is long right? the the vowel sound is long, long. Look, seek, seek. Sick, sick, right? Oh, okay. so it's S E E K, S E E K, sick. Hide and sick. Hide okay. and sick. Buscar y encontrar, you know, hide and sick. Okay. And, and, and police and thieves is uh, policías y ladrones, right? It's like we say, uh, agarra la ayuda too, right? Teacher. Yes, Domingo. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice pedir ray? How do you say what? Pedir ride. Ah, Pedir ask, ask for a ride. Ask for a ride. Uh -huh. You used to do that, Domingo, when you were a child. No. Uh, yes. Oh, good, nice. Yeah, I remember uh, in, in, in the street of my, the place I, I, I was, I grew up in Cuscatancingo, right? Cuscatancingo in San Salvador, right? And um, I remember the streets were made of, of stone, you know, very old streets. They, they were not pavement, no eran pavimentadas, right? So, uh, and the pickups were slowly, you know? And I used to, to grab on the pickup, right? Me solía agarrar de los pickups, you know? And, and, ooh, you know? <laughs> okay, with all my friends. Because it's tiempos peligrosos. Yes, but, but we enjoyed that, right, Domingo? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Debbie, the next question is for you, Debbie. Uh, what are your parents like, Debbie? Uh, what are your, your parents, parents like? like? Uh, como, como son sus papás, I mean, personality, right? How, what are your parents like? My mom. I don't know. I don't know. Your your mom, mom is talkative, are... sociable, 
she is uh, happy. Mm. Um, what else no, can I say? She is. I don't know. <laughs> say in Spanish. Come on. Que no sé cómo cómo decir que son. No sé. Okay. Well, she is sociable. Shy? Uh, really, I I come be with my mom. Mm -hmm. I don't see my mom in uh, 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 16 or 17 years. Oh, good. So this question is not the appropriate for you, right? Don't worry. I I talk with with her, but not very frequent right? she is normal she's normal i don't know ah, okay good. My, don't worry don't worry my, Debbie. don't worry no my no, dad no. is cool don't worry don't my worry dad. now this next question so Debbie, what do you and your family like to do together your husband um, your children what do you like to do together what activities we go to the we go we no on solo con él o con mi familia? I mean, with your, with your husband and your children, huh? the, just the family in your house. Okay. Um, we go to the park with the baby. Okay. And do you have pets, Debbie? Yes. Ah, so you usually One. take your pets to the park, right? Yes. Nice. For a dreamland or a place like that. Ah, oh, Dreamland, yes, nice. Nice, that's a good place. Sometimes, no, so always. Galaxy Holding. So yes. Places like that. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, we, well, in fact, David, when we are, when we become parents, we don't enjoy anymore, right? <laughs> Only the children. So we say, okay, uh, let's go to the beach because of the children. Let's go to the movies because of the children. Let's go to the park because, yeah, it's more, um, uh, children activity right <laughs> okay yeah. but from time to time we have to to decide to take uh, 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 activities like husband and wife right so sometimes it's recommendable right for example my wife and i we went to to kiosco san francisco in ruta la panoramica right nice a good place right and we enjoy our chocolate in the morning so i'll come on to that's nice, right? Day. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Okay. And now, uh, let me see. Let's come back to Trini. Trini, what do you think, what is your opinion, Trini, of the married couples who decide not to have any child? No babies in the family, they say. What is your opinion, Trini? I... I like the, the child. Chi like children, right? Uh -huh. Yes. But uh, sorry to ask you, uh, Trini. Perdón que les haga esta pregunta. O puede ser a veces más, muy personal, pero come on. Uh, are you married, Trini? No. No, no. Okay. Well, but in the future, do, do you think you're going to have babies or no? Yes. Oh, good. Nice, nice. So in this case, uh, you don't find logic that some couples decide not to have baby, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, Trini. Thank you, thank you very much. And Aminda, what about you? The same question. Uh, okay, it's a difficult question. I know, I know, <laughs> but, but uh... it's true. I mean, there are a lot of families, especially today, Yes, okay, the yes. millennials, the millennial, right? Some of you are millennials, so you you take the decision. More millennials are taking the decision not to have baby, right? Yeah, in my personal opinion, is a is a, a selfish decision. Oh, good, good. Yeah, in my personal opinion, yeah, because when you have the the money or do you do you have the conditions? For 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 forget a uh, uh, child, you can do it. Okay, I understand. Yes, it's of course it's a, it's an option. It's a, a very personal decision, right? In my case, three children. So, 
but they are not children, adolescent. And, and, <laughs> but it's difficult, you know, you go to the hospital, you go to the schools, you go. Ah, so on, many activities. A lot of activities, yes. And, and yeah. to be a father, to be a mother, oh, it's really hard, but uh, irregarding, real recompensable, regarding. Yeah. Okay, class, uh, I guess it's uh, too many questions to, for tonight, but uh, I will make the last question uh, to Ana Maria. Ana Maria, who is the black sheep of your family? Don't tell me you, right? <laughs> Ana Maria? Okay, so let me see. Uh, Domingo, who is the black sheep of your family? They, the black sheep, right? Black sheep. Ah, la oveja negra. Who is the black sheep? Uh, oh, yeah. You. <laughs> You. <laughs> okay, come on. You, I, I, I. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. No commentary, Domingo. No commentary. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Well, well that's it. but uh, the, the black sheep is like 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 a ten, right? Uh well in the families they, they love the black sheep, of course. Yes. In the case of my family, is my, my little sister. She is she used to go to the parties, she likes to drink. She's noisy, she's, she likes to fight, you know? <laughs> yeah, everybody has a black sheep in the family, yes. But we love them, right? Pero los amamos, yes. Okay, good, that's it, right? Any extra commentary? Anyone that wants to tell something before we finish this? No, no commentaries? Okay, good. So Wendy, I will ask you, Wendy, uh, do you like this topic of the family? Yes, I like. Good. Do you it's want to continue with the same topic tomorrow or you want that I change a new topic? Um, can continue with the same. Continue with the family. Yes. Okay, that's it. So we're going to continue. I hope I have more questions over there, right? Creo que por ahí deje unas cuantas preguntas pendientes. If not, okay. I'm going to try, Wendy, but if not, so we're going to change it. But this topic, I like, you know, I like to talk about my family. I love my family, you know, my wife. I love her, my children, right? My mother and my father are not with me. But, you know, I have excellent memories of them, you know. So the family is the best for me, yes. Good, class now, let's go to the class. And uh, today we are going to continue talking about causatives, right? But we're going to uh, go to the to the objective, right? Carla Vanessa, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Well, one of the two objectives, because today we have two objectives. Read, please. Okay. Uh, I will a I will be able to design a basic checklist of the steps steps to define the brand of a product. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Carla Vanessa. So, how to make a good brand, a checklist, right? This is good, this is good, this is bad, this is, this is yes, this is no, right? Okay, and uh, to begin, we're going to introduce the grammar topic, the causative. Remember, causative is when you convince, when you make, when you force, when you persuade another person to do something for you or for other people, right? Okay. Now, today, uh, yesterday we were learning with get and make, right? Get and make. Tonight, we're going to continue with more verbs, help and let. Here we have some examples. The training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. So in this case, we have help plus someone, in this case, small business owners, propietarios de negocios pequeños, right? And you can use, ah, listen, we can use the base form and also we can use an infinity. Look, 
In this case, we have an, a, a, a base form, right? Next one. A marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. So to understand infinity, right? So you can use both with help. You can use base form and understand. And you use help to, to demonstrate that you can help, you can collaborate with someone or, or, or with something, right? Good. Uh, let. Let is used for permission to let someone do something or give the permission to someone to do something or when you ask for permission, right? Sometimes, for example, in the, in the company, sorry, uh, you say, okay, I need permission to go to the hospital with my children, right? So you use let in this case, right? Look at this example. Some companies let clients go through a service trial before they decide to purchase, right? Service trial, is that like a, um, como un servicio de, de muestra de lo que el producto hace, you know? Okay, so let clients, in this case, client is someone, right? In the base form, go, go is the base form. Not to go, it's go, okay? Good, and then, we have this uh, another example, right? An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their product, right? Aminda? Yes, teacher, I had a question. Tell me. Uh, how differentiate uh, when you use a uh, base for or infinitive? Oh, it's form. simple, Aminda, with the preposition to. Look. Okay. So when you use the preposition to, it's an infinity. Uh -huh. When you don't use it, like here, replicate, it's a base form. Yeah, base form, okay. Uh, listen, uh, I mean, that sometimes I like to tell names to in grammar. Uh, for example, I, I call this el verbo pelón. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because nothing else, right? No ing, no s, no ed. No, no preposition to, nothing, right? Nothing, just okay. the verb, right? So that is the base form, no? And in the case of the infinity, the preposition to, right? Yeah. Okay, but now that Aminda says that what is the difference? Well, grammatically with make is that you force a person to do something for you, right? And in this case, we use the base form. With get, you persuade or you convince a person to do something for you. Not necessarily uh, coercive, not necessary, right? And you use an infinity. With help is help, you know, tratar de ayudar, you know, help. And so we use the base for and the infinity. And with let, that is for permissions. So you keep in mind, let is permission, permission, permission. And we use the base form, right? Okay, we're going to go to the explanation of this. When you offer help, use a form of help plus an object plus the base form of infinity, right? Example, I'll help my neighbors. Remember that help, let, make, and get, and also have, también está el verbo have, pero no lo vamos a ver esta noche, have. So they can use, they can be used in any time. You can use help, help, will help. Is going to be help, but I mean, you can use all the tenses, right? This is not necessary in present, right? You say, ah, oh, pero el verbo tiene que ir en presente. No, no, no necessary, no necessary, right? So you say, in this case, future, I will help my neighbors clean the park. Clean the park, right? Voy a ayudar a mis amigos a limpiar el parque, ¿no? ¿Ok? Es para que Debbie y su familia puedan ir tranquilamente a disfrutar del parque, ¿verdad? Right? Hey, listen, I recommend Cuscatlán Park. Si no han ido al parque Cuscatlán, se lo recomiendo. Muy bonito, yes. Ok, now. They help him to pay. Ah, so infinity, right? To pay his debts. 
They help him to pay. Okay. Please, you help him help me to pay my debts too, right? <laughs> Mi deudas. Yes, okay. So again, help plus object plus day form or plus infinity, right? Good. Then we have let. The causative let is used to indicate permission. Permission. The formula is let plus an object plus the base form, the base form. Example, she let her sister or she gave permission to her sister wear her favorite dress. My boss let me take the day off. Ooh, nice, right? <laughs> Free day. So my boss is nice with me because he let me take the day off. I don't let my children stay out after 9 p.m. So it's negative, right? Also, we can use negative, right? Good. So any question so far? Any question? Help and let. Yes, I have a question. Okay, please, Wendy. Uh, with the verb help. For help, example, uh -huh. how we will know uh, when we have to use infinitive or the base form of the verb? It's up to you. You take the decision. Really? Yes. Whenever you want to it say infinitive, matter. use an infinitive. Whenever you want to use a base form, use the verb. No, it's, it's, not, it's not important, right? Whatever. Ah, okay. It's your decision. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Thank Good. you. Thank you for your question, Wendy. Thank you. I like it. Now, any other question? This is grammar. Remember, grammar is not, not easy sometimes, you know. Well, I consider this topic is not easy, in my opinion, of course, right? I don't know it's what, what is your opinion, but I consider it's difficult. And sometimes, hmm, kind of boring, right? But the grammar is like that. I mean, it's not, it's not funny. It's just necessary to understand the grammar, right? So in order you can speak or, or, or to know. In, for example, you know, class that in the United States, there are a lot of people that don't understand this, right? Uh, we have a lot of illiterate people, right? Illiterate. Illiterate is an alphabetas, right? There are millions of people in the United States that don't, don't understand this, you know? So you're lucky that you understand the grammar, right? Okay, now it's time to work. Rewrite each sentence using let, right? Okay, I will go to the list, random, oops, sorry. Random, random, al azar, right? And the next big, sorry, the next student is? Wendy, sorry, Wendy, <laughs> you were, it's a coincidence, eh? it's a coincidence. So don't permit your younger brother to open the oven door. So what could be the, uh, oh, wait, wait, give me a second. I will put the, the, the written model, model. Uh, okay, I guess here, right? So don't permit your younger brother to open the, the open door, right? Do you understand the sentence, Wendy? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, good. Now, let's I'm use- I wanna let. try. Come on, do it. Okay. Um, don't let your younger brother to open the oven door. To open or open? Open the oven door. Ah, good. Thank you. Open the oven door. Nice. Listen, because uh, when, when you... When you use let, right, you have to use the, the infinitive. Give me a second here. I will copy that. That's it, right? Okay, let's go to the to the form. It says let plus the base form. So, ladies and gentlemen, Wendy did it very well, right? Excellent also, Wendy. Thank you. Now, next student, right? Look. I will close my eyes. 
Ever, ever is in class? No. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ah, ever, hello, ready. ever, welcome. Ever, did you do you under do you listen the explanation of the use of, of, of let? Uh, no, a few no, 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 no. Okay, good. In. I will repeat. I will repeat for you, right, Ever? Look. Remember yesterday we were learning um, how to use get and how to use make, make. as yes. causative, right? Remember, causative is like you say in Spanish, right? Usted yes. causa que yes. otra persona yes. haga algo El vaso, por usted o, o por otra persona, right? So yes. that is the use of uh, uh, get and, 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 and make, right? Get and make. And tonight we are learning about, about the use of, just give me a second here. Diego. Give me a second here. Um, Yo le di un okay. Good, thank you. Now, tonight we're using the verb let, right? Let and help. Here, right, let. So we use get uh, like to persuade someone to do something, convencer a alguien de hacer algo, right? We use make to force someone to do something, forzamos a alguien a hacer algo. We use help to help someone, right? To do something. And we use let ever to indicate permission, permission to do something, right? And the structure ever is let plus object plus the base form, right? And then we have this example made by, by uh, Wendy. Don't permit your younger brother to open the open door. Don't let your, ooh, sorry, your, your younger brother open the open door, right? Now, Ever, let's go to number two. You should permit your little sister to go to the store with you. Especialmente si quiere comprar churritos, <laughs> siempre le pegan a uno. <laughs> okay, now, you should permit your little sister to go to the store with you. Using let, ever rewrite okay. the sentence. Rewrite. I try, I try. Uh, maybe you should let your little sister. You should let. Your, ah, sorry, your, your little sister. To go, no, to little sister go. Go. To the store with you. Little sister, go to the store with you. For Wendy and for you ever, excelentoso. Yes. Okay. Good. Next one, right? At random again. Oscar Arnulfo, eh, no sé si Oscar ya llegó a casita. Oscar. No, I can't teach you. You are driving. Yes. Oh, good. Continue, continue. Don't worry, don't worry. <clears throat> Me, teacher. Ah, yes, Trini, come on, go ahead. We don't let. We don't let. Our daughter eat a lot of candy. Candy, ooh. Okay. We don't let our daughter eat a lot of candy, right? Yes, permit. Permit is, is a synonym in this case of let, right? So, Trini. So, as I say before, right, look. <clears throat> Let is used to indicate 
permission. Permit, right? I permit you, you permit me, my boss permit me, right? Scarlett Johansson permit me, etc., etc., right? Understand? So let is a synonym of permission. Good. Any questions so far? Now, let's go to next big, uh, sorry, the next student. And ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa Noemi, my goodness. Number four, Vanessa. Okay. I wouldn't. I let wouldn't. Let. My youngest son to go to the mall. To go or go? To go. Okay, let's go to, to the structure, look. Let close the base form. Look. Okay. The base form. Open. Go to the mall. Go eat. So go to the mall. Alone, right? Solito, solito. Alone. And thank you very much, Vanessa Noemi. Nice. Now let's go to, oops, sorry. Let's go to number four, five, sorry. Yes, yeah, right. And the next student is going to be, next student is going to be, Chamba, come on Chamba, help me with number five, please. Okay, mister. I like that, you, I imagine you're, me... you're in Chamba, I imagine you're with the semita and the coffee, right? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I, I, I receive invitations, Chamba. No problem. <laughs> I prefer Coca-Cola. Oh, uh, no, no, Chamba. Come on, Coca-Cola <laughs> is not good for your stomach. Tea, tea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, now. I know, but, but it's delicious. I know, of I... course. <laughs> okay, will? Will he, you let me permit? Let you or let, no, let. No, no, there is will a mistake, you... Chamba. Sorry, give me a second. Your children is here. Your children. Uh-huh. So, will you let, let uh, me permit your children to see that movie? Excellent, also, Chamba. Nice. Okay, give me a Oops, I did something Teacher. wrong here. Teacher. Give me a second. There is a mistake? No. Yes. It's a question. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second here. Right. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Chamba. Yeah. Thank you. I, I I I I noticed the mistake. Chamba is infinitive or or base form. Chamba. Is the base form. Base form. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. So don't worry, Chamba. It was me. Yo la regation. Aquí no se preocupe. Ya corregimos. Yes. And number six. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Chamba. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mariano, my good, my goodness. I like that. Come on. Okay. You should let them make their own decision. Decision, right? Oops. Donde salió la tilde? Okay, you should let them uh, make their own decision. That's it, right? Nice. And to feel, oh, sorry. Thank you, Mariano. Okay, now, sure. Okay, thank you. Now, just give me a second here, just for you to notice the difference. And the last one, let me take a decision here, right? Oh. Oh, nice. I have two volunteers. 
Who is it? Please, your name? Rosibel. Rosibel. Ah, yes, Rosibel. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it because you haven't participated too much, right? You haven't participated mm -hmm. too much. Now, come on, Rosibel. Rosibel, do you hear the explanation? Yes. Oh, good. Excellent. Yes, also, come uh -huh. on, go ahead. We always left, left him stay up late. Stay. Stay up. Mm -hmm. Stay, stay, stay out. up. Stay up late. Late. Rosibel, do you have permission to stay out late? No, right? No. Okay, nice. Okay. Me, yes. I can stay out late all the time. And I have the permission of my wife to say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, good. Thank you, Rosibel. Nice. We always let him stay out late. Good. So we finish the topic class. The causative, right? The causative. Next time you, you listen. Los causativos. ¿Qué son los causativos? And they, I know. I remember I was in intermediate three and we learned about the causatives. Get, make, let, help, right? Y todavía nos faltó un verbo, el, el verbo have. I have you work with me, right? Etc, etc. So have. But the most important are get and make, right? Any extra question? Questions? If no question, let's practice pronunciation and then let's continue with the second objective for tonight. Let me see what time is it. Ooh, it's time to take the attendance. Yes. Uh, Trini? Present. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Present. Carlos William? Present. Ah, welcome, Carlos. Thank you. Yes. I estaba calladito, Carlos, para que no le hiciera preguntas. Está bueno. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Carlos. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Present. Thank you. Ever. Present. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Hey, welcome, Jose Roberto. Nice. Carla Vanessa. Carlita? Present, present. Good, thank you. Leticia? Leticia? Ah, here. Present, teacher. Ah, good, thank you, thank you. No le hemos hecho preguntas, pero Leticia ya vamos a preguntarle, yes. Eh, Mariano? Mariano? Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Pacas. Uh, Oscar Anurbo. I'm here. I'm here. You're at home now, Oscar? No. Give me three minutes. Oh, good. No problem. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, Rosemary. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Rosibel, ya podemos hacerle preguntas, ¿verdad? Bueno, ya le hicimos, perdón, yes. ya, ya participó, ya, yo todavía ando <laughs> cortando varas. Ok, Sonia y Beth. Present. Good. Vanessa, Noemi. Present. Thank you. Walter Omar. Present. Wendy, Karina. Present. Chamba. Perdón, mister. Thank you. Debbie. Present. And Jorge Alfredo. Oh, hey, hello, Jorge. Nice. I'm happy to hear. Eh, Jorge, ¿se puede quedar 10 minutos extra después de la clase? Sí, ahora sí. sí okay, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Nice. So now, please, repeat after me, everybody. Repeat after me. Eh, microphones off, please. Microphone off. Don't let your younger brother open the open door. Don't let your younger brother open the open door. 
you should let your little sister go to the store with you. Oops, sorry, I can't put on that. You should. No me dicen, come on, si me equivoco, ayúdenme ahí también, ¿verdad? You should let your little sister go to the store with you. Store. Incorrect. Store, right? Store is the correct. Good. Repeat after me. We don't let our door. Oh, I'm going to say it right. Okay, again. We don't let our daughter eat a lot of candy. We don't let our daughter eat a lot of candy. I wouldn't let my youngest son go to the mall alone. I wouldn't. Youngest. I wouldn't let my youngest son go to the mall alone. Would you let your children see that movie? Will you let your children see that movie? You should let them make their own decision. Make their own. You should let them make their own decision. We always let him stay out late. Let him. Mm. Mm, mm, let him, let him stay out, stay out. We always let him stay out late. Good, any extra question? Objective number two for tonight. This is the last, uh, the last, uh, uh, Objective, sorry, <laughs> the last objective for, for unit three, right? Tomorrow we're going to start with unit four. So it means that in the platform, you have to go to homework three, right? Tienen que terminarme la tarea tres. Homework three, right? Yes, remember that. Tomo uh, Friday they close, right? El día viernes, todos los viernes cierran la plataforma para enviar el reporte a Insafor. Así que antes del viernes... Por favorcito, completar la plataforma en la unidad 3. ¿Ok? Good. Eh, entiendo que todos estamos con la plataforma. Por cierto, es uno de los temas que voy a hablar con Jorge. Creo que, espero que ya lo hayan incorporado, Jorge, a la plataforma. Y si no, pues lo, le vamos a echar la mano para completarla, ¿verdad? Ok, now. Eh, David, can you help me with the objective? Please read. Uh, I will be able to describe strategic to make wait, a wait, brand wait. new... David. Wait, strategies. A strategies. Okay. Describe a strategies to make a brand memorable. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mem mem memorable. 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 Describe a strategies to make a brand memorable. Okay, nice. Hey, you're good <laughs> with, with tongue twister, uh, Debbie. You're good <laughs> with tongue twister, right? Repeat us to me, please. El narizón de la narizonería. El narizón de la nar narizonería. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's continue, right, class? And then he would... Oh, sorry. Give me a second here. Okay, good. They are selling tamales in my neighborhood. Okay. So the reading. This reading is about... Uh, uh, you know, uh, branding, right? Branding. So we are going to read. Uh, we're going to do the next, right? I will read one portion of the reading and then you're going to help me with the, with the reading and we're going to practice pronunciation and vocabulary too. Give me a second to get my manual. Se me cayó el manual ahorita. Okay, thank you, I'm ready. So, I will read and then one volunteer help me to, to read, right? 
About 40 years ago, marketing strategists, all Reeves and Jack Throat, offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind, representing a clear perception. Okay, one volunteer, please. Thank you, Ana Maria. About uh, the day or el otro? Episode? Yes, yes, no, no, about 40 years. About 40 years ago, marketing strategies, Old Rice and Jack Crowe offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to remember it is to be first into your prospect mind, representing a clear perception. My goodness, what a good reading. <laughs> Ana Maria, congratulations, nice. Okay, now we're going to see Mariano, but give me a second, Mariano. Uh, think about all the brands that you have become synonymous, synonymous, synonymous uh, with their function. Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox, it's not an accident. They were also the first. Mariano? People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves, marketer, now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know if I am lost. Think about all the brand, right, Mariano? Ah, uh, yeah. Think, this think part. about. Uh -huh, continue. Uh, think about all the brand that have become synonymous with their function. Scott Tate, Kleenex, Xerox is not accident. They were also the first. Good. Listen, Mariano, their, their, their function. In this case, the I is not pronounced. So you said their, no, no, their, their function, right? Thank you, thank you very much. The next part, please. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it is, if it is, sorry, and if it really is new, it gets more than your uh, our attention. Sorry, I, I don't see the the Peters. Me estoy saltando los puntos. Give, give me a second. Again, again. <clears throat> sorry, again. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. Okay, please, Sonia Ivet, go ahead. Thank you. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets if a product gets our attention and is it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. Thank you. Good readings, Sonia. Excellent. Thank you. Now, next part. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Good, thank you very much. Volunteers? Chamba, please. Then start in Netflix, right? No, no, it is easier. Uh, okay. It is, it is e easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organis, orga, organizational. Organizational. From, organizational. Organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into prospect mind with the same perfect per perception 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 you have 
hope to create you you'll find it's hard to push them out a better plan is to pick a different perception one that you can be first to put in your prospect mind my goodness good reading Chama. thank you very much good and the last one right netflix would have never made it if reed hastings idea have been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched the perception of Blockbuster, not well, at the time Netflix launched the perception of, of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix has stepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new, okay? Yeah, so it was the competition between Netflix and, and Blockbuster in the past, right? So any anybody that can help me with the reading, please? Volunteers? Yes, sure. Sonny Evet. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, Sonny Evet, go ahead. Netflix would have never made it. Ah, no, Netflix would have. Would have. Netflix would have. Would have. Uh -huh. The pronunciation is uh, not would have, but would have. Would have. Would have. No, Netflix would have never made it if. Uh, Reef has this idea had been to open a branch of a store to complete with Blockbuster. To compete. To compete. Mm -hmm. to compete with Blockbuster. At the time, every launch, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of the most prospects as the go to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped. How do you pronounce? Side step. Side. Side. Side step. Step. Side. Side. Netflix side step. That's a problem, but creating a perception of the itself as they go to the place to rent movies online. That was new. Excellent. Also, right? Good. Thank you, Sonibet. Now, uh, questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? No. Okay, good. I'll, I'll tell you the idea, right? On a size, size tab. Size tab, uh, eliminate. 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 Uh -huh, eliminate. Get rid of. Get rid of. Mm -hmm. It says that Net Netflix eliminate that problem. Uh -huh. Elimination of the problem, you know? Size step. And then step. This is a regular bird, right? Good. The, the idea is this, right? That if you want your brand uh, to be a good brand, it's not only uh, people will remember your brand. For example, you can remember uh, Reebok's, for example. Remember I was talking about this brand of shoes last time? So Reebok. But not only people remember the brand, right? but also they have a perception of the brand in their mind, right? So it's not only simple to know a brand, but to, to have a special uh, uh, place of the brand in your mind, you know? That's it, right? So that is important. So in that way, uh, you listen, for example, in the case of Chamba, right? When Chamba listen, Coca-Cola, right? He immediately goes to the store and buys the Coca-Cola, right? But it's not simple. The brand is saying, ah, I know the brand. But according to this article about this reading, right? Some articles like Scotch, Tape, Kleenex, et cetera, et cetera they become with this idea, right? So that uh, they are a prospect in your mind that is absolutely clear, right? And you understand that Coca-Cola is the best. Well, in, 
Chama, in fact, is not, right? <laughs> Bring water, eh? <laughs> you see? So, and also some of the most successful brands in the world, for example, in this case, Netflix, right? Uh, take the idea of other company or other brand, right? And substitute that idea with another new idea, right? Okay? It's like uh, the Chinito, right? The Chinitos copy everything, you know? Uh, so something similar, right? It's something similar. You copy the idea of the other company and you make this idea new, right? For example, the renting uh, videos in some store, right? Blockbuster was good, it was popular, right? But then Netflix said, no, not renting um, the videos in some stores, let renting the video online. You know, that was a very uh, good idea at the moment, right? In, in the present, no, because everybody can get a movie, right? In the internet, right? Besides, we have other, other uh, sites where you can get movies like Disney, HBO, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good, now let's go to the manual to finish the class. Let's go to the manual. And it's time to work, right? It's time to work. Here, right? How to use causative verbs part two. Page number 31. Page 31. Okay? So we, we already practiced this, right? But I don't know if you have any extra question. Any extra question for, for this topic? The use of help and let us cause of it, right? Questions? No. Okay, if no questions, let's go to the, to the exercise. Use the verse in parentheses to complete the sentence, right? What are the, the, the verb? Help, satisfy. Help and satisfy, right? Okay, guys, I will give you five minutes to complete this exercise. No, five minutes, no, right? Three minutes, you're very fast, I know, right? Three minutes to make it. Give me a second. I will put the, the clock. I will set the clock is the correct word, right? Set the clock. Okay, three minutes, right? Let's do it.
Time is over. Are you ready or you need more time? Okay, let's go together, right? Jorge, can you help me with number one, please? Number one. If you can, I will help you. Don't worry, Jorge. Let's do it. Okay, number one, Jorge, number one. Jorge, Jorge Alfredo. Okay, so Mariano, Mariano, thank you. Thank you, Mariano, number one. Okay, just think about your, think about how your business, business help your customer to satisfy their, their needs, their needs. Their, their, their needs. needs, right? Good, excellent. Yeah. Excellent also, right? Think about how your business helps with that, right? Just your customers satisfy their needs. You can also say to satisfy or satisfy. You can use infinitive or you can use base form, right? Thank you, Mariano. Number two, please. And Debbie, can you help me with number two? Investor one let companies develop without a plan to improve, improve business brand. Develop, right? Develop. develop. Thank you very much. Excellent also, Debbie. Now, Chamba, number three, please. The plan help employees to become part of the brand. Excellent, right? Helps. You can say, sorry, you can say Chamba to become, or you can say become. Both are acceptable, right? Rosibel, please, number four. Uh, begins to speak about a business brand, let Customers to no, let customer identify our products easily. Good. Let's with S, right? Let's customer identify, identify. Like you say, right? Rosibel is not infinity, is base, mm -hmm. right? Base. Now let's go to the last one, number five. Uh, Sonia Beth, please go ahead. Branding let the customer uh, add a perceived value to the product. Perceive. Okay. The product, right? Thank you. So let's, because branding is considered third person singular. So you say, let's, and then add, right? Good. Excellent. Also nice. So okay. the cost okay. of this, I can say, Everything is over. You understand everything. You're masters in COSAPI, right? But if you have an extra question, I can help you. Do you need more extra examples? Do you need more exercises? Do you need a trip to Europe? Whatever you need, I can help you. Questions? Teacher. Yes, Oscar? Let is with S or oh, yes. Let? I will I will go one by one, uh, Oscar. Uh, in number one, uh, helps with S because it's a, your business and your business oh. is considered a third person singular. So mm -hmm. for that reason, you say helps with S. Number two. Because you're using the model want, that is the negative for will. So you're going to use let, let, no let's, no, let. Number three, 
Number three, because we talk about the plan. So the plan helps with S, right? Helps. Because the plan is considered a third person senior, right? Now, being specific about a business brand, business brand is also considered as a third person senior, right? <laughs> so for that reason, Oscar, let's, let's, right? And finally, okay. branding is considered a third person singular. So for that reason, we say branding, let's, right? Okay. Understand, Oscar? Yes, yes, yes. So it's a question to see if it is a third person singular or not, right? And then yes. you cannot there, right? Thanks. So let me see what time is it. Yes, we have time to make this exercise. Okay, good. This is a personal uh, commenter. So you say yes or no, right? This is a checklist, right? Do you know what is a checklist? It's when you're making, you, you have to do something and you have to do some steps, right? And then you're checking step by step. This, yes, this, that. You're making a party, for example, right? Let me say, right. To make the party, I will need, let me see. Ah, I will need balloons. I will need a I will need a cake. I will need a, a whiskey too. A whi no, come on, what kind of party, right? <laughs> I'm talking about fortune, right? No, no. You will say a, a, a dozen of Pilsen, right? <laughs> no, no. A, a piñata, yes. Cocolito in my party, yes. Good. So you make a checklist, right? In this case, we have a, check, a checklist of the steps to define a brand of a product. If you are going to create a brand of a product, this is the checklist you're going to say, right? It says, is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Check yes or no for the following descriptors. Your brand relates to your target audience. Su, la marca de su producto está relacionada con los, el tipo de audiencia al que usted va a tirar el producto, right? Instantly, instantly, without too much thought. Sin andarla pensando mucho, you know? So your brand relates to your target. So then you're going to say yes or no. It depends on you, right? Number two. Your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why it is important, right? The uniqueness. La, ¿cómo se dice en español? La, la, la uniquidad, ¿no? Eh, vamos a ver. La único. Ajá, único, es único, ¿ves? Your brand, eh, la, no, pero hay una palabra, let me see, la, La exclusividad, right? Exclusividad, yes? Your brand shares the, the un, unique, uniqueness of what you offer and why it is important, right? Is it true? Si su producto ofrece eso, póngamelo en yes. Check, right? Check, right? Okay. I will do something here. Let me, let me see. Okay, good. The brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting, right? The promise that you are making to who you are targeting, right? El producto está haciendo exactamente para su audiencia que usted ha escogido. Children, grown-ups, women, men, people from the country, people from the city, etc., etc., right? Who is your audience, your targeting, right? Then number four, your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer, right? The values that you want to represent as a customer. Is it true or not? 
If you have no, 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 so your brand is not good, right? Si me le puso no a todos, hay que escoger otro nombre para su producto. ¿Ok? Chile, el machito, no, it's not a good brand, right? Pupusas, las chiclosas, no, it's not a good brand. <laughs> you know? Eh, uh, today I was uh, watching a, a, a motorcycle, right? Uh, the brand was uh, Serpento, Serpente, or something like that. But the, the model was Nova, Nova, <laughs> Nova. It's like the idea of the brand, you know? La idea de la marca de esta moto es como la moto no funciona. Nova, Nova. So it's a bad brand, in, in my opinion, right? It's not a good brand. But if you say, Panes con pollos de delicious. Ah, I creo que sí, ¿verdad? Cumple con todas las, el checklist, right? Good. Any question? We are not going to work with that. Don't worry. We are not going to work with this checklist. It's just to, to describe the, the, the checklist, right? No questions? Okay. No. So let's go to the last exercise. Okay. Oh, sorry, class. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Uh, there is a conversation and I forget to practice this conversation. Yes. Sorry. Oops. Yes, right. So we're going to practice this conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it says, Angel and Mateo are discussing about basic ideas to start developing a brand, right? Están tratando de desarrollar una marca de un producto. Read the conversation and take turns practice. Listen, please. Mateo. Aha, uh -huh, Mariano. Questions? Mariano? Not sure. No, okay, Not good. It's a mistake. Good. No, no problem. Mateo, Mateo, ¿dónde estás que no te veo? He says, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. And Angela said, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. And Mateo said, how do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business card. Mm, bad technique, right? And Angela says, your clients can help you to do all the advertising. No le des la responsabilidad a tus clientes, le está diciendo. So, you already decided what kind of law you're focused on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Listen, uh, with law, for example, you say uh, uh, you want to be a, judge, uh, a, a lawyer for uh, labor, right? Labor, labor. Uh, derecho de, sobre el trabajo, right? Commercial, commercial. Or you want to, to focus on on what? Civil, right? Civil. Oh, penal, right? Penal. Yeah, so in, in El Salvador it's dangerous, but you have to focus, Angela tells Mateo, of the service you are going to provide to your client, right? Yes? Okay, good. Now, please, repeat after me, everybody. Repeat after me. Microphone's off. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price of legal trouble for a cheap price. But they seem to prefer the competition. And Angela says, probably you need, probably you need to define brand of the service. Sorry, the brand of the service. 
Probably you need to define the brand of the service. You are providing to, sorry, you are providing. You are providing to improve the business. Again, everybody repeat. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do you, I, sorry, how do I do that? How do I do that? I just usually let customers do, I just usually let, I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided. You already decided. What kind of law you focus on? What kind of law you focus on? Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want. You have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with. And define the brand you want. Complicated, right? Escoger la, la marca de un producto va a ser algo complicadísimo. Yes, but, you know, we have good ideas here, right? Okay, class. So to finish, I want two volunteers to make this conversation. And we we'll finish the class, right? Two volunteers. I need a Mateo and I need an Angela. Oscar. Yeah, thank you, no, Oscar. No problem. So you're going to be Mateo and Mariano. Angela, please. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three. Action. I went into business a lawyer six months ago, but I, but I barely get any customer. I had people find the best of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the company. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do you I do that? I use usually let customers on customer do some promotion for the for me with business card. Your clients can can help you to do all the advertising. You already designed that kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define your brand you want. Excellent toso, right? Nice, nice. You're good readers, you're good readers. Congratulations, Mariano and, and Oscar. You're very nice, right? Good, I want to be sure uh, with Jorge, Jorge, todavía está por acá. Vamos a quedar los 10 minutos extra. Jorge Alfredo. Teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, please don't, don't go. We're going to make the 10 extra minutes, right? Nos vamos a quedar 10 minutos más. Yes? Okay, but for the rest of the class, I will take the attendance. I don't know if you have any extra question. Uh, please, eh, por acá nos quedó un, un ejercicio pendiente, pero ya no nos queda tiempo, you know? Eh, the reading. Si pueden consultar su manual, por favor, y me contestan estas preguntas. Están un poco difíciles, ¿verdad? Pero yo sé que las pueden hacer. Yes? Please, eh, me responden estas preguntas basadas en el, 
en la lectura que hicimos de, de el robo de, de ideas, ¿no? El marketing, para darle un nombre a, a su producto. Ok, good. So, eh, Trini. Thank you very much. Have a good night, Trini. God bless you. Just give me a second here. Aminda. Present. Ana Maria. Present. I'm sorry. Carlos. Present. Oh, sorry. Carlos, casi no le di participación. Va a disculpar. La mañana. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, God bless you. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Present. Good. Thank you, Claudia Guadalupe. Have a good night. And good night to you too, Domingo. Now, Ever. Present. Thank you, Ever. Have a good night. Good night. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Carla Vanessa. Present teacher. Good okay. night. Thank you. Good night. Eh, Leticia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Excellent. Right. Mariano. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Anulfo. Present. Thank you. Rosemary. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rosibel. Present teacher. Good Thank night. you. Have a good night. Have a good night, Rosibel. Thank you. Sonia Ivette. Present. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. And Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa Noemi. Okay. Walter Omar. Present. Good night. Good night. Uh, perdón porque no le di mucha participación, Walter. I'm sorry. Night. No problem. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you're gonna help me, right? Thank you. And, bye, bye. Okay, God bless you. Wendy? Present, have a good night. Thank you, thank you very much. Chamba? Present, mister. Thank you, have a good night, Chamba. You too, mister. Thank you. Debbie? Okay, present. Thank you very much. And Jorge, right? Okay, good. No se me va a ir, Jorge. No se me va a ir. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Have a good night. Okay, Jorge. Welcome. Good. Uh, ¿Qué tal? No worry. ¿Cómo está? Permítame, voy a encender mi cámara que se me apagó. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Yes. So, uh, ok, good. ahí estamos ya con la cámara. Eh, ¿No le afecta la cámara con el internet, Jorge? No. No, no. No, no. Excellent. No, para eh, nada. Jorge, there is a topic that you're interested. ¿Hay algún tema que esté interesado? ¿Algo que le parezca complicado? ¿O algún tema que usted siempre ha querido saber de inglés? Teacher, honestamente estoy casi descontinuado, no me he podido conectar casi, eh, no sí. he estado muy, muy, muy bien, de verdad, y, y estaba tratando ahorita, pero creo que no me deja entrar a la plataforma incluso todavía. Tampoco, uy, eso es lo que iba a platicar con usted, porque yo le reporté la semana pasada a, a Inglés Corporativo que usted no tenía acceso a la plataforma, lo que me dijeron es que le habían dado acceso y que le habían mandado un correo, no, le notificaron, me dijeron, más bien dicho. No. Un mensaje. Sí, un, un WhatsApp. Un ah, mensaje okay, por WhatsApp. Good. Sí, Entonces, muy bien. Quiero ver acerca del curso. La inscripción de este curso es solo por invitación, me dice Molotés. Y no ah, le aparece ningún link o algo ahí. O sea, le entré al link de Meet. Donde ah, okay, la clase good. por la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y entonces me direcciona acá, dice, la inscripción de este curso es solo por... Ah, quiero hacer este teléfono, creo que me va a desconectar la cámara, pero permítanme, porque dentro de la traducción, permítanme. Ok. Permítanme. 
No problem. Continue, Horrible. No problem. Okay, let me come here. Sir. Hello, Moto. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Quiero abrir este teléfono, teacher, porque en aquel no me deja recibir la clase. Quiero ver en este, si en este sí me puede abrir la plataforma. Ok. Y el problema es que como son detalles técnicos, ahí sí tienen que ser los compañeros de, de la oficina que le ayuden, ¿verdad? No porque yo con gusto le ayudaría, Jorge. Sí, claro, solo de ahorita vengo a acá de la y quiero ver si me deja entrar. Dice plataforma, acá está. Sí, esa es la inscripción de este curso solo por invitación. Supongo que porque, como que no tengo acceso, ¿verdad? Ajá, como que en, en teoría, como que no lo han invitado, ¿verdad? El dueño del, de la plataforma. Sí, entiendo yo que. Va, entonces, ¿sabe qué? Voy a llamar directamente mañana, voy a hacer una llamada directa a mi jefe para ver en qué le puede ayudar, porque ahorita todavía estamos a tiempo que termine la, la plataforma, Jorge. Y, ok. Um, sí, no le puedo decir porque realmente usted no tiene idea de cómo es el trabajo, pero eh, si son por unidad, son este, cuatro actividades. Por ejemplo, ahorita usted sí. tendría que hacer 12 actividades, más o menos, 12. Pero son sencillas. 12, 12, 12. Okay. Son sencillas. En la mayoría de casos solo tienen que darle clic, perdón, a una opción. Sí, está fácil. Uh -huh. Y si hay algún ejercicio en el que usted necesite que yo le ayude, ahí va a estar a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Pero, pero obviamente necesitamos la llave para abrir la puerta y no la tenemos. Así que eh, déjeme sí, llamar exacto. mañana, déjeme llamar mañana. Yo pensé que ya tenía el acceso. Yo lo pensé, pero... No, fíjese que estoy... Y ahora otra vez no. Sí, lástima. Ah, perdón, Jorge, mm. quería hacer una pregunta. Este, con, con Vicky y, y Miriam, eh, ¿trabaja usted con ellas dos? Con Vicky, sí. Ah, con Vicky. Y, y no sabe sí. qué pasó porque ya no se me ha conectado también ella, no sé qué ha pasado. Yo creo Primero que, que son ya... cuestiones laborales, ¿verdad? No, yo creo que es más, está pasando otra situación ella ahorita y, y mm -hmm. se le ha complicado, creo que ya no va a continuar. Oh, no tiene lástima, nada que ver con lo laboral. Bueno, bueno, entiendo, ya son ah, cosas ah, personales. Gracias. No hay problema, thank you. Gracias por hacerme saber porque así ya lo apunto yo, ¿verdad? Y y ya entiendo que ya no se va a conectar. Pero yo quería felicitarlo, Jorge, sí, porque veo que usted está haciendo un gran esfuerzo. Yo, eh, me dijo que tiene un negocio propio, ¿verdad? Yo tengo un amigo que tiene un negocio propio y uf, le cuesta muchísimo encontrar el tiempo para estar aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Así que yo lo felicito. Al Estamos principio rápido. sentí que se me iba a ir de la clase, ¿verdad? Pero ahí está peleando. Gracias, está. gracias. Sí, eh, no, gracias a usted. Este, no sé, quizás algún te, algunas recomendaciones le voy a hacer para que, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Practique un poco el inglés. Este, quisiera okay. que le enviara algunas recomendaciones de algunos sitios en los que pueda practicar, Jorge. Por favor, sí, porque Vaya, estoy bien pues, descontinuado. Pichu. Le, voy a le voy a recomendar Por un favor. sitio donde está de todo. Ahí hay, hay gramática, hay listening. Hay iPods, no iPods, eh, podcast, perdón. Hay podcast, hay música también en ese sitio. Le voy a mandar a ese sitio. Este, ok. Usted, en el, el grupo de WhatsApp sí está usted, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí sí. Sí, ahí sí, vale. ¿Cómo aparece ahí, Jorge? Eh, porque a veces no, no me lee los nombres en mi teléfono. ¿O cuáles son los últimos dos dígitos de su celular? Eh, 75, 475. 75, ¿verdad? Vale. Jorge Alfredo. 
Vaya, mandarle links, le estoy apuntando acá. Mandar links. Y de los videos que yo mando al grupo, Jorge, eh, los, ¿los practica usted? Algunos sí los he podido observar, otros no los he visto. Ah, vaya. El, el lunes Pero mando, por ejemplo, de vocabulario. Eh, ayer martes mandé uno de los números contables y los números no contables. Y ahora mandé un... Okay. un un listener que es un poquito largo y, y complicado, ¿verdad? Pero le puede ayudar muchísimo. Entonces, mire, le voy a recomendar varias cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Usted tiene Netflix en casa? Mm, no. No, no. ¿Cable? No, pero no, no puedo. Mi cable, sí. Ah, ok. Muy bien. En el cable, Jorge, hay una opción de cambiar, no todos los canales, pero algunos canales a inglés. Entonces, yo ah, le sí. recomiendo yo le recomendaría que le pusiera su opción a su cable, ¿sí? Ahí en el control, okay. ahí le dice el menú, okay. y usted le aparece donde dice el lenguaje. Entonces le da ahí el lenguaje, uh -huh. y le da clic, aceptar, y hay canales que le, como un canal de películas, no sé cuál es el canal, Cinemax, creo, y varios canales que ahí le van a aparecer en inglés. Si usted quiere okay. aprender inglés de verdad, eh, el contacto con el audio, con el sonido y con la imagen, es algo fantástico para aprender, Jorge. Así es que, por favor, le recomiendo de que de promedio puede haber una película a la semana en inglés. Y si es de muñequitos o de comedia, magnífico, ¿verdad? Porque ahí se, es, se entiende mejor. Las películas de acción solo van a, okay. a poner malas palabras, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. sí, pero claro. no, las la de comedia, las de muñequitos, eh, las va a entender, así que le recomiendo que vea una película semanal. Y también yo personalmente sí. se lo recomiendo, la música me ayudó muchísimo para aprender inglés. Así es que si puede, Jorge, eh, poner una canción en YouTube, en inglés pues puede ahí practicarla. Yo le estoy mandando una canción cada jueves. Ok. Cada jueves. Entonces, yo no sé si usted de los, de los 2000, de los 90, de los 80, porque a mí me gusta la, la música vieja. ¿Le gusta la música viejita, Jorge? Sí, la verdad que sí. Bueno, es como usted no es algo joven todavía. Ok. El, Andamos el de, el 80 y el 90. de los 90, ¿verdad? pues sí, ahí esa música es la mejor, ¿verdad? Se entiende, se entiende, es más romántica, tiene más sentido. ¿verdad? Así es que le recomiendo que practique con música. Así es que estas son mis recomendaciones. Eh, le voy a mandar unos links, uno de música y otro de que es un link donde está, como le digo, de todo, ¿verdad? Hay gramática, hay conversaciones a el listening, para practicar el listening, de todo de ahí, así que ahí puede aprovechar. Y como le digo, okay. yo ya reporté tres veces lo, del sub, de lo de la plataforma, en su caso, tres veces, pero mañana le voy a hablar directamente al jefe para, para ver si, si resolvemos, así que le, le pido disculpas en nombre de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Porque no he podido accesar a la plataforma, pero espero que antes que terminemos el curso sí. ya pueda. Aquí se comunicaron conmigo como a las tres clases que yo no, no había sido inscrito. Sí. Porque la como que había enviado la, un formulario anterior, ajá, o sea, no actualizado. Yo le, sí le mandé la, el dato a la, a la jefa ahí y, y lo, lo, lo anexaron. Ajá. Y luego volví Pero... a llamar y, eh, para que lo anexaran a la plataforma y me dijo la jefa ahí que, que usted ya tenía, ella tiene acceso, no más. Pero no sé, a, a veces son detalles técnicos, Jorge. Y ahí un poquito malo con los detalles técnicos. Pregúnteme lo que sea en inglés, pero en, en detalles técnicos ahí estamos mal, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, Jorge. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta extra que tenga? No, dicho. No, no. no. Ok. No. ¿Y qué le parecen las clases? Pues bien, solo que este módulo, miren el anterior. Fue un poco difícil, casi no me podía conectar. Sí, Entonces, lástima, sí. lástima, porque los temas son un poco difíciles, Jorge. Sí. Sí, 
Es porque me haya continuado, ya siento que, que he perdido el hilo. Vaya, pero ahorita quedémonos así, mire, porque acabamos de terminar la unidad 3 y ¿Eh? vamos a comenzar la unidad 4, ¿sí? Entonces ¿Eh? usted tiene que hacer dos ejercicios de la unidad 1, 2 y 3 y el examen de, de medio curso. Eso uh -huh. es lo que usted tiene pendiente. Okay. Y ya con el 4, pues primero Dios ya, ya pueda tener acceso a la plataforma y, y ahí voy a estar yo en las clases. Además de eso, Jorge, cada, cada vez que yo termino la clase, envío la clase de el, el, la presentación de PowerPoint al grupo de WhatsApp. Así que oh. puede usted accesar y, y practicar bastante, ¿verdad? Ahí solo quiere disciplina. Eso sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Trata okay, de ir un dicho. poquito de tiempo en su, en su trabajo, porque me imagino que debe ser bien, bien ocupado, ¿verdad? Sí, bastante. Yeah. <laughs> ok, very good. So, eh, Jorge, have a good night. God bless you. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you. Good God night. God bless you. Goodbye. Bye.